not just the workers of the land. Singoma stand. We are gonna put in our cameras. Basebenzela tina. Itchigile ginkomish. And I think it's important that as these communities, we appreciate that what was taken away from our forefathers and mothers, the government of the African National Congress has brought it back to us. So today, we are the ones who are the owners of the land. We are the ones who are saying to Merensky today, we are willing to work with you on our terms. Because we are the landowners. But because you have got the knowledge which we require, we want to work with you for the success of this community and the success of our province and the success of our country, South Africa. I'm told you decided to make sure that one of your pieces of land must have a school. I trust that amongst these children and others who may be here or at home, some of you are going to go and study agriculture so that you can be agronomist, so that you can be agricultural economist, so that some of you can actually be biotechnologist and be specialist in forestry and an environment. Because if you have to take over in earnest, you must be able to have the skills and the expertise to manage these farms. I heard you that I will talk about the investors. It's important, yes. But it's also equally important to have amongst you as this community people who will have an interest but also have the know-how and the knowledge on how to run such enterprises. So that you do not always depend on those who are partnering with you and only what you receive is the collection of rent Tiago <laughs> We are gonna get to where Uma Busseli where we have come back by name now. In any community, there will always be some challenges, but those challenges can never be a bar for any community to resolve. Even here, you are the best judges. After we gave you some of the land, they collapsed. <coughs> Government had to come in again, give you recapitalization money to make sure that these farms can operate again. You had to go out and get partners who are going to work with you. I hope we are not going to do the same that after some time, we will start to see the collapse of these lands again. And I've heard you, uh, my mayor of the district, you said, we want to do this, and we want to do that, and we're meeting in council, and we agreed that given that this is the agricultural area, minister must invest on this. I said, yes, minister will partner with you, but district and municipality must lead the way. 
the roads need to be fixed. That municipal infrastructure grant must work for this community. If you want the mango to reach the market in good shape, these potholes must be fixed. They have to be fixed properly. And if we appoint contractors from our community to work those infrastructure, they must do the work. And give us show the work. Contractors or any service provider. Because part of the challenge is that we have poor infrastructure is because of corruption. When a service provider has been given a tender, let me say of 200 million, we want 50 million up front. So what type of quality are you going to get? Because that 200 million tender does not mean the profit is 200 million. It means part of the 200 million must buy the material, must employ the workers, and do all the necessary things to make sure that that infrastructure is of quality. Maybe what becomes a profit is only 20 million. And even when the poor fellow has done the job, we, some of us working in the civil service, we say, I'm raising these things because these are the things that kill our society. And we end up community because they believe this is the government who have elected, shunning away from us and it's individuals and some corrupt apples within us who do wrong. And we brandish the name of the civil service and we brandish the name of political parties because we do what is not right. I do believe we must always remember there is public representative the power we are given to lead is not of us. It is these communities that have trusted us with their power. And I think we must speak these hard truths at times because communities such as these look up to us as professionals who have been trained to do the work but when we are supposed to do the work, we sit back and say, Who pick one when you earn a salary? So I just hope that going forward, we will do what is right and serve our communities as we must. If we want to go to business, I see again, Jebagi, Tixelens, Akulmen, and just go and run a business and make money. But let's not make money out of the public purse. Because these communities pay tax. They pay tax through VAT, when they buy bread, when they buy milk. The very tax that goes in the coffers of government for development, for paying my salary and your salary. And I think it's important that we start to respect ourselves as those who chose. Because nobody said you must be a civil servant. You made a choice. You said, I have my bed to apply. You should have understood what the responsibilities are. Nobody forces you to be a politician and stand for office. You made a choice that you avail yourself to your party so that you are elected to be in office to save. So today, even to the members of the CPA committee, 
your responsibility. You are holding this land in trust. If they have elected us, let's respect them. Let's not take decisions when they do not know. Let's give them the honor and do what is right. We are gonna receive from here to live in a my cause. My cause and part live on behalf of the community. When the chief or the king is the chief of the village of that people, he is holding that in trust of those people, not for himself or herself. Amen. You owe these people reports every year. Tell them what has happened with the money. Tell them what has happened in the farms. What are the problems? Let them give you the advice because it is their land. When this land comes back, Masina Atige, when I was a woman in Nepal, the claim of this community was actually lodged by the chief. And I think it's important to remember that. And the chief was doing it on behalf of this community. It is important that we do not push the chief Teti away in the affairs of the CPA. And create a tension between these government structures. Ours is to make sure that Bukosi is part and parcel. It knows in each and every time what are we saying, what are we doing. Ipinza gengbele ngapa konda besi tabam. Nasi konda besi. We are part and parcel of this community. So it is important that when we work, we work together with the committee on behalf of the CIF. Mwaba kwasinis kati pinze mbe koda na oba mwaba nebuko sise kuti mwaba ne CPA iti ni iti ganzi is for all of us. We as buko si ne CPA we are just trustees on your behalf. Siege ni ge pa mafila. Let's not be lazy. When you work in that farm, even though you have got a partner, unga tu tolo vanga be mumshaba we tulo and say I'm not going to work on Monday because in Sunday mamba. Mamba unje si awana saka chumsom lugo mumsom lugo ena bagets. Futi ge ena plazin bute mumsom lugo bute lensolvo. Ba kundi shi shi after 1994, di naraje lendo re ba ili ba di chela tarien tu di bu elu rao kasi kuli shi lendo re kasi kule ni ntoa. Ba lo kono ba fa ba di tisi di naraje lendo re ni gaba chela sumite tia bu shango re kacha se chava se chava se ba lo ba ba eta pele ya CPA amor ni mushate. Who acting mayor, the speaker, but the department of government, chairperson of the portfolio committee on agriculture, complete myself. The number of the whole of the house of government, are we really level? Are we going to go down? Who the minister of the government? Who the matter of the government? Who the organisation? Who the travel? On behalf of local government here, we close our regular regular more. We need to fight our 
Yebola's here, Minister It will not be like other many CPAs. We will get involved to make sure that there is cooperation and there is accountability. Rinago Fellow Department of Agriculture. One of the resolutions we have taken, Minister, is that we are recommending that there must be resuscitation of those old schemes, that the, the agriculturalists, they must continue to monitor the farms, the CPAs, because our people end up with uh, maximum support. Real level, as you journey back, journey back safely, report to the president, Report to the ANC that we are the happiest people here in Mupani. Our contribution to the country must really benefit us as black people because we know we have got the capacity and the interest and we want to solve the issue of poverty. And this is the way. and your committee, please, and let's prove we are not failures. This is the Gamma Rose, the Shimis Hane, of the Dogopan and Abahabes who continue to monitor. Real Executive Mayor Council of Pleasure.